Sometimes people do the wrong things for the right reason, Lord John Gray, David Barry, preaches in the promo trailer of Outlander Season 4's Episode 11, titled If Not For Hope. As Outlander fans, we already know that. Season 4 has witnessed the wrong on so many levels, but the bigger question is if it has been for the right? The upcoming episode, slated to air January 13th, will answer a lot of these questions, but Roger's fate is the most curious one out of the lot. In the 32nd trailer, there's no sight of Roger McKenzie, Richard Rankin, but he looms heavily in every aspect of it. The Frasers, Jamie, Sam Hewen, Claire, Katrina Balfe, and young Ian, John Bell, are proactively looking for him after Jamie beat him to a pulp and young Ian sold him to the Mohawks of New York. The barter price of Roger was the necklace young Ian donned in the last episode, titled The Deep Heart's Core. That necklace, however, was is not just an ornamental piece, that is the biggest clue to where Roger can be. Did the Cherokee recognize that? Jamie questions in the promo trailer as the necklace is handed out by young Ian to be examined. Looks like they did, as he affirms to his uncle, they believe it's a Mohawk village called Shadow Lake. On a side note, little do the Frasers know that Roger escaped from the Mohawks and landed himself in another time-traveling hotspot, somewhere in the jungle en route to New York. In the last episode, Roger reached out for the stones, which would obviously transport him to the 1970s. But the episode ended in a cliffhanger, so there's no certainty if he is still in the 18th century and there's no guarantee the Frasers will find him. Even if they have the clue that the necklace belongs to the Mohawks of Shadow Lake, their journey may turn out to be futile. As for Brianna Randall Fraser, Sophie Skelton, who is in Rive Run at Aunt Joe Casta's, Maria Doyle Kennedy, a state, awaiting news of her lover from her parents, she is interacting among the elite her family is a part of. As the young beautiful granddaughter of Riv Run's lady, she is gaining a lot of attention from the young men in and around the estate. Descending from a staircase at Aunt Jocasta's mansion, many men look at her in awe. One of them happens to have been swept off his feet, almost immediately. Mr. Forbes was quite taken with you, he intends to ask for your hand in marriage, Aunt Jocasta's slave girl Phaedra, Natalie Simpson, is heard telling Brianna, who is, of course, not happy to know that. The scene immediately cuts to Claire and Jamie resolving their relationship issues, since in the previous episode, both had kept secrets from each other. I am sorry I didn't tell you it was Stephen Bonnet, Ed Spillers, when I knew, Claire confesses as Jamie looks at her. The brunt of this miscommunication led to Jamie brutally beating up Roger, after being misinformed by Lizzie that he was the one to rape her mistress. In the backdrop of this confession, is Murtaugh Fitzgibbon, Duncan LeCraw, on a hunt to find Stephen Bonnet, as Jamie had ordered his godfather to bring the pirate to him to avenge his sins of raping Jamie's daughter, looting the Frasers and murdering their friend in the very first episode of season 4. The scene again moves back to Riverrun, where Brianna is seen panicking and asking I need your help. Fergus, Caesar Domoy, is immediately seen running away and perhaps hiding. Murtaugh, Determined to nab Bonnet is seen in conversation with people in Wilmington who will ultimately lead him to the villain. As for another surprise appearance, Lord John Gray, David Barry, appears to be in Riverrun, giving advice to Brianna that people sometimes do wrong things for right reasons. Gray has been a fan favorite of many, for not only being Jamie's ardent supporter but also raising his child, William. In episode 6 this season, Claire figured Gray was in love with Jamie. After Gray suggested he and Jamie have something special that Claire and Jamie do not. Claire was quick and prompt to respond saying they do have what he thinks they don't, a child, their daughter Brianna. So, it looks like John Gray will finally be meeting Brianna. The trailer concludes with Murtaugh finally coming face to face with Bonnet, as Murtaugh greets the pirate and points a rifle at him. The episode's pictures released. Show there's a time jump as Brianna is heavily pregnant and still at Riv Run. It looks like the upcoming episode If Not For Hope will be an exciting one with new characters joining and old characters making a return. However, it's Roger we are looking for, and it's a tad bit worrying that he is nowhere in sight.